My name is Irene Glass. Uh, I'm the president of the Frederick Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans, or Frederick Cups. This is our annual outreach event. It's the Frederick Pagan Pride Day. And this is our seventh year, not annually because of the pandemic, but it is our seventh year in all of the years we were able to have a festival. Um, um, there are workshops and rituals throughout the day. It's a wonderful way to learn about pagan belief if that's new for you. And if you are pagan or pagan curious, it's a great way to meet members of the community. The shopping here is pretty epic as well. We have incredible vendors. Uh, along with that, there are booths from local groups that are representing their tradition or path, so you can find other people who maybe feel the same way you do about your spirituality. Um, and more than anything, we're very grateful to the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Frederick for saying yes to this uh, nine years ago now. <laughs> Hi, I am Sabrina Smith. This is my daughter Sawyer. This is the first stop when you come to Pagan Pride. Uh, we are all part of this web of existence. We are all connected and this is a way that we show that. We make donations not just to humans but to our animal brothers and sisters as well. I'm Allison. I'm Lori and we are staffing at Pagan Pride Day for the first aid table. I'm a nurse practitioner and I am a clinical social worker and first aid CPR certified. We have a bunch of volunteers here who are all certified to help out in case there are any issues at all during the event. Hi, my name is uh, Connor. Um, I'm here as parking staff, troop 1812. Um, I go to Urbana High School here in Frederick and uh, a senior. You know, I'm just here to help out the community and direct people to park. Hi, I'm Jenny. Hi, I'm Nikki. We're at the registration table. Yes, we are. Pagan Pride Day, Frederick 2023. Yes. <laughs> yes, Pagan Pride 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, uh, Port Procyon with Reston Cups. We are the covenant of the Unitarian Universalist Pagans in Reston, Virginia um, at the UU Church there. We're here at Pagan Pride joining our sister organization, Frederick Cups. Hi, my name is Alicia and I am part of the Church of the Knotted Ash. This is a, what I would call a Wicca adjacent tradition uh, that originated in Buffalo, New York. And uh, we are part of the uh, southern contingent of that tradition. And so hello, uh, my name is Argon John Knoll. I am the projects officer for Stone Circle Council. We are a group of like-minded individuals uh, who have come together in community and wherever we go, we like to raise stones together. Hey everyone, my name is Ron Padrone and I am here at Frederick Pagan Pride Day uh, representing the Fellowship of the Young Star, which is a local uh, DMV area um, pagan social club. Hi, I'm Ann Fiskbook from MajorQueerna.com. We're hosting a book signing booth today where we've got several different authors who are going to be coming and signing books, including Scott Bonker, who is here right now. Morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, Perfect Pagan Pride. My name is Brad Buck, and I am the leader of Yorther's Wanderers, which is a experimental and reconstructive archaeology group that is, follows a living history format. And what we do is teach uh, early medieval history. My name's Joe, and this is Nikki, my wife. We run the New Alexandrian Library not-for-profit store. All our items are donated, good, new, or used. Uh, we represent the Assembly of the Sacred Wheel out of Georgetown, Delaware. Order of Elemental Mysteries is a contacted uh, tradition uh, based in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And we host uh, 
public rituals through Connect BC for the Sabbaths and the full moons. And those are completely open rituals for anyone in the public. I am Desiree. I am made by Dusty Reed. I specialize in accessories and I do friendly home goods. Make jewelry. Focusing on amber and the amber pieces. They're Baltic amber. There's some jet. Um, okay. Hi. Uh, I'm Patrick and this is Alicia. We're twos on. Uh, we do chainmail jewelry and trinkets as well as uh, spell kits and books and uh, we all sorts of things. Uh, pottery and jewelry, um, mostly pendants and earrings, uh, but also kitchen witch accessories, room sets, um, generally nature inspired, fun to touch pottery. It's great. Hi, I'm Lou from LM Crafts down in Rosedale, Maryland. My shop's on Philadelphia Road, and we do crystals. We do resin pieces with crystals inside all. For example, it's a unicorn horn. It's we are RM Benefits of Maryland. Uh, we are local women owned uh, here in the frederick area we do health insurance for individuals small businesses and medicare uh, so we, we love to come into these independent events and just feel joy because uh, everybody needs health care that's great hey, you're on hi i'm elizabeth i'm Catherine, and we're twisted talismans um, we create and sell handcrafted jewelry using natural materials like clay and precious stones and each piece has a name and intention that goes with it. Oh. Welcome, we are Peridot. We are your go-to spot for all things that are metaphysical, occult, or spiritual. We are located in historic downtown uh, Newmarket, and we're open every single day from Thursday through Sunday. This is Black Cat Holistics. It is the portion of all sales goes towards Change on Change, which is a nonprofit organization that helps uh, women and children get out of trafficking situations and they help with the full rehabilitation product. Hey, I'm Juliana with the Lullaby Butterfly Bakery. We're a boutique and a bakery that sells homemade baked goods and a lot of metaphysical cute gifts and things. Um, welcome and I hope you enjoy the Christmas. Right over to our red All right, hey everyone, this is Fox and Owl Creations. We have handmade crochet items. We offer jewelry, clothing, bags, and accessories. And a portion of every purchase is donated to homeless infants and toddlers in Baltimore City. We are a touch of glass and then some. And uh, the glass that we offer is all Diane's creations. Um, everything that you see on the racks and a few pieces on the table as well. We also carry a uh, wooden statuary. It comes to us from wood carvers in Ukraine. Hi, Jim and Kevin here with Wizard's Tower. We have been vending for uh, Pagan Pride for probably 10 years now. Um, Kevin makes hand carved wands and wooden spoons. I do all the garments. I specialize in uh, ritual wear for guys because nobody else does stuff for guys. I make a lot of other uh, ritual accessories uh, for to help you in your personal practice. Yep. Hi, I'm Marnie. I'm with Stoneheart Forge. I'm out of Woodbridge, Virginia, and it's my first time here at Frederick Pagan Pride. <laughs> and I am a blacksmith, flint napper, and paper maker, and make a lot of uh, ritual items for different uh, faith practices and I'm very excited to be there and thanks everybody for having me. Hi, we're Three Pence Collective. We're a family of crafters. Um, we do soft body products, leather, soap, I'm Harry, and candles. And candles, thank you. Um, so we're individual companies, but we like to come together as a group as So we are Tempered Raven. We are handmade knife makers based out of Wardkin, Virginia. Uh, we're friends with some of the organizers of the festival. We're glad to be back. We weren't here last year, but we're back again this year. Um, we also have leather sheaths that we make with our knives, and we have a whole bunch of cool Viking stuff set up because that's us. <laughs>
Um, so this presentation here today, we're going to be talking about um, just the basics of healing crystals. And How many of you are to fade out yourself? Are solitary practitioners? Look at the solitary squall. <laughs> Viking, Norse pagan, heathen. What mental images popped in your head when I said that? Like most people, especially with today's pop modern culture, you probably saw, saw a whirling barbarian. Axes flying, beer guzzling, beer down past his chest. And I'm saying he because of course he's a He's wearing combat fatigues. There's elder cook dark runes all over them. Everywhere. There's references to Berserker, Alphanar, and Odin on his shirt. And I'm not here to tell you that's wrong. <laughs> what I am here, what we are here to tell you is that that's not the entire story. I've been a professional dancer for 10 years now. And I was absolutely one of the 90 pagan kids going to Walden Books, in the borders, and buying Powerball, opening up my Llewellyn, Wave Center, we have available. I've been on this path for almost four years now. I started out when I was just a kid. We are so excited to welcome to the stage The Mirror. They are an indie rock trio featuring Wanda Perkins, Jeff Orens, and Christopher Wallace. Ow! Ooh. 
Thank you.